אני ניח מה יצחי. I might get kicked off of here in a second. I'm just trying to log in so I'm the Zoom host. Hey, adapt electric patient. ตกเห็นอินมีนิดปะคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีนคุณคุณสลาวีน
ayat-ayat dan mana. Oh. I. Ke pas nasion juta legends kasino pa. Wow to kawas. I i i. Wow to kawas pa. Nasuata. Gomes. I ni kena kena pas. I kusmais kena suyan wita ancahi. Pas subsequent asy chen sekolah sekolah Islam aman, ancahi, mai. Ku wash meswa subsequent si mai kito nawat yau. You got it. So you have your own language class online. Hmm. Ah, cakap yet. Uh, um, it's just getting seen with Facebook person. Oh, yeah. Um, I would, uh, I'd be a guy, uh, by all guys, but he wants, uh, that is what with the, uh, looks good at the man, uh, now me need, but. Oh, yeah. Aja ku ada suah NC kap. Can I say that for a big room? Or is that more? Ah, kuah jauh sahaja kerja. Sisi masa sekolah saya intut pemapa. Yeah. I just know the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because I think we've tried to come up with words like for living room and you know, well, kukit pamat kitchen, but uh, you know, just a big room. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. You just because uh, like shanit shanit would be like you know maybe the other room or in the back or something. Back room or something. Come and see. Miss Nama, to you, Smat. Miss Nam Kut Kut Shah, Miss Namisha. No, 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 with Kla, eh, Annie, Annie Smith, when he told me no, I whisk shut down, quit key. Annie's always doing something with beads. Ah, Jonathan, how much does ah, how na, I cannot turn a turn to snowans. Then I'm missing with key. That was Akin and Annie had something to show you. Oh, Tun. Oh. And the Koi Iwa, Tun what? Well, I, I don't know if that would be uh, Tun what is the back of our neck, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think. Uh, well, then Nukwash, Nukwash is our throat though, but I'm not sure if what the general area, but I imagine that we would just something that kind of like represents like a necklace, I guess would be Iwaiwish. Iwaiwish. Yeah. Mm hmm True, Mishauna. Oh, Sasha, because you're 20, what, what, that's my Wenichi, and of course, 
issue is Shuk Mishnash, and I, you know, I can see, I guess, uh, a big room. Um, I don't know if we have a room, a word for that. Yeah, I thought I was uh, saying uh, up is what I've heard for the other room, I think. I remember that, right? Oh, it's also in here for the next room or the other room. Oh, yeah. It's up. Then uh, the one that the, the one that I was kind of saying was uh Mish, yeah, and like I, I've heard um, just kind of, that's the first time I'm seeing this word that written that way, but used to just see it with just a shanit. Shanit. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's like a, imagine the next room or another room or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Now, uh, cool. Um, <clears throat> Cool unto the poin shna or Tim wish the upskip on I the poin shna, the crew and I'm like me clash um snipper. A coach hit shna, a white la warm springs, but it to anana shana, quona to anana shana, you were coach. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, even like a mile away, you can now not smile. Um, will be child to and pui is stripper. How it yeah, so there was like some very uh thick, heavy sweaters, very dense from here, just around here and there. I'm not sure how I would say that, you know. Some clouds are different, you know. Oh yeah. Um quite the commission uh um I swat the sh and the kush uh pui pui pama. Um you know, snow clouds or mish uh toh pama. What the sh? What the gomish our pamin siminikush wanichna? You know, what if they have their own their own names? You know, what if they just have a reference of, you know, being called rain or snow clouds? Um, hey. Yeah. Let's see, I think I remember there was a word for sleep, though. Mm hmm. Hmm. We'll have to remember that one. Um, Stupa Kawa, uh, Tichamkilu Slaku, we well at the Banakutsa at Pine. Um, how we are which the Emik Apach, Yamashmi Apach, Kna, uh, we well at it. They're going to uh, they're going to be starting their hide projects over there, over at uh, Cove mm. on the second. They're uh, getting ready for that. The last year we went over there and kind of like spent a day with them um, for their uh, they're finishing the hides. They they scraped their hides up. And then they uh, they were wringing them, and then they then they were stretching them, stretching them to 
you know, been just working them with cable and pretty soon we're all pulling on them. And next thing you know, the, by the time I left, they were, they were, uh, they were smoking them. And so it was a real successful uh, thing for them. So they're doing that over there starting on the second. So they already had their spots filled. I was really hoping to be, be in on that, but they were there had spots filled for the hides planning project. Yeah. And I couldn't want to shop me couldn't mash up me and the chi our a word for sleep and ice uh the wheelie the wheelie the wheelie the wheelie really yeah the wheel the wheat the wheat yeah the wheat the wheat yeah the wheat see the wheat yeah, the free tree would be uh, like the ice up be a slick road, but uh, the free is sleep ice. And then if it's freezing rain and the Kuiwa Wanichi, the free tree, the free tree, the Now, Kupayu, the wheat seed, you were chashna, homage, and nami, pit canupa, quay, it's I eighty four. Kupayu, slack mom, and I don't know how would you say that they slid and there were just, I don't know, multiple cars and trucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I can announce why internet. Wachman. Mishnah Mishnah Wachman. Mishnah 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 Misha. I having a hard time hearing you there, Alan. Your audio is mm -hmm. kind of kind of breaking out. So maybe you can chat with what's going on with how you've been. <laughs> Nam chat each da, nam timat the chat pamapa. That almost didn't come out right. <laughs> oh, you're on a, you're on a train. <laughs> no wonder you're breaking up. Cars. <laughs> Kaski na mina shaman. Kaski. I don't know how that ever word ever came about for train kas, but that's what we've always known for train is kas. Paish 
So again, Jefferson's Indian name is uh, Isu. Uh, just kind of recently got acquainted with Jefferson to uh, know his Indian name, Isu. Um, so I do want to go ahead and give everybody else an opportunity to be able to kind of just uh, share share with, uh, you know, what if it's in token Tim to non Tim or Shep to Tim, you know, just to see how you're doing today. I don't see Jean on here today. She's usually the uh, most faithful, but um, just kind of go down the line, see how everybody's doing. If you wish to say it in the language or so, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, he must be first out. Not good. Um, Tamalut, I uh, primarily making a lot of things for the immersion school that's going on and, and helping them to get ready. So been busy since that started up this week. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Cute little boys, Indian boys. Akupawawanichi, Nakshi Wawanichi, Thunder, Kunashi, Venisha, Hameen. Hameen. So, two that I've seen so far. Is there just two in there so far? Mitat, Mitat Nyanashma. At least I think all three are here. Ah, e Mitat Nyanashma. I think they're all here today. Oh, come on. Kwaslan and Kwaitanam Kutkutsha. Appreciate you working there. Nam Awapatasha. Yeah. Any Mishnama, Mishnama, Misha. Nikhnashwa. Chi mice keeper, winanash, pit a lumped pit canoe per Iskuli Pamat, Iskulit Pamapa, Ku Chow, like no school, snow delay. Oh, yeah. So, winanash, tribal office. Uh, ku um, yik shash, a uh, loud alarm, but somebody opened the door and so the alarm was going off really loud this morning. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at the uh, Blue Mountain? No, right here, out here, the language door. Out. Oh. So Damien had to turn it off. Jakuk? <laughs> oh, ka Kapayo. Like 10, 15 minutes ago. Oh, Mr. Chuck, now I was in the recording studio. Yeah, that's not good. We didn't hear it in the office. <laughs> yeah, the building yeah. been burning down is still recording late. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know we're burning? Yeah. The words are just hot. <laughs> Spit and fire. Waslana Kunam Grateful you're you're okay, you're taken care of. <laughs> Alan, how you doing?
Mercedes, a Misha, to you, Smut, Mishnamawa. To you, Smut, Mishnamawa. Nice chow. Dewey, Mishnamawa. How's things? How's things going in the spielum? Good, good. Cold. Cold and got some more snow last night. Oh, uh huh. Uh, you guys, you guys have feet, or oh, you guys said you guys don't have celery feet, huh? Mm -mm. Yeah. It's in our lineup at regular Kayuit, but I don't know. We just never, not that I know of anyway, we never had celery feast. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good one Sunday, you know, just a few of us, but it was good. And our, our young ladies that Pinap uh, Utilakima, um, you know, they realized that it's them now. If they can't rely on anybody else, it has to be them. And uh, so it was, it was, you know, they spoke on that, you know, and how that they realized that they can't always rely on who they, you know, the older ones. And so it's them. And so that was good to know that, you know, that they, they what they know that they, you know, they, you know, they uh, they did good. They got enough for everybody, and uh, and I told them, yeah, it's you know, it's that's what we all have to do. Sometimes it's just all for ourselves, you know, to have to do it for others in that respect. And so everybody left happy. Mm. Yeah. Same with us that we're singing. You know, just a few of us and. Yeah, we had to stop one Siapa man from recording. He was trying to record. <laughs> so we had a recording uh, regulator there. She went over there and told him no recording. So <laughs> he got his phone out and he's really trying to record, you know. <laughs> gave, him, gave him the chops. Yeah. I drove over at nine and there was nobody there. So I left. Did you guys start late? I got there, but there too, I didn't see Armin's car, his truck. So I tried to call him and no answer. Then I said, well, I'll go in. Here he was sitting inside and he goes, oh, would be parked in the back. And here, I guess he's, uh, his daughter went after Les Minthorn in his truck. So that must, must have been what was going on there. But he was inside. They just, I didn't even hear him drumming. So they were all, you know, done with their three songs with the drums. And so I did, went ahead and got their perfect timing, just in time to sit down and, you know, start the service. But yeah, it was good. Sean Dean, it been there. Nich might ski subsequently. Eh, Mishna Ma. Nich Nishwa. Mishna Misha. Um, cut cut shah or cut cut shash. Eh. Mishna Ma. What part the Shamian Mianishma? Come a loot, Pat. Um, e, um, um, Maitski, um, in the morning. E, Maitski, Pat. E, Nich, Tumish, 
we're going to get our Navajo sister be talking. It just came here pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Ma Ali Kalat. Mishnawat, Mish, you mean Nawati, yeah, Inam Shat. He, he said we shall mean Nawati. He, you, you shall. Yeah. Mish? <laughs> his, uh, his, his gut or his belly is, uh, is thundering. Uh, you, you shall, uh, yelling, uh, hollering at me. A <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. and a tuna is correcta. And a tuna was smart, Lowy Shot. Oh, um, Miss Miss Lee, uh, correct, correct, from up watch, no? So, uh, how do you say that? The lack of options. Selman, Selman, me. La cup cut it. Mexican, I chime up. Yeah, Charles, Charles Shukwin. Was the Tawas? Was the Tawas? Good. Satawas Saro. Oh, was it Tawas Pamata? Yeah. Uh, Nish Nishawa Kitchen, uh, Sinwit now. I wish for and the question is, I can Hana, uh, I Kuman, a Kupo, Wanichi, Smart Lawi. Yeah, Smart Lawi. He smut lawi, uh, and I think that's one of the words, you know, for for wishing, wishing for. He and the tuna namwa smut lawi sha. He yeah. What is it that you're wishing for? He yeah. I've heard uh, Thomas say that. Yeah, smut lawi, smut lawi. Yeah, because he now smut lawi it's a smart lawishash. Uh, 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 might cut it. Breakfast? Yeah. Might cut it. Yeah, might, might, might cut it. Yeah, might, might cut it. Yeah. Smart lawishash, wishing for, for breakfast. For Something to eat in the morning. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. Chaos Ayak and Kwai Sinwich, not just him. And how did I used to hear Kushki Lula Sluit Namaniku and the Kuna? We are we from a cut that cut cut them by Kawi to Mishun. Tunam Tunamawa Kasha Tunamawa Kasha Tunamawa Kasha. I I I don't know what he would imply when he would say that. Tunamawa Kasha. Because awa in one sense it has a meaning of like like uh, like getting after, you know, awa when you you know, catching hell, in other words. 
getting scolded. And I'm not sure how he would imply that, what, when he would say that. Yeah. So be a language word to kind of try to figure out there how he's, what he means when he says that. Lonnie Slam. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, um, we understand what we say, but it's kind of hard for us to like to translate or define what it, what the word, what the word is, what it's applying. But we understand it's understandable what he's, he's getting at, and so to try for us to, to define it, <clears throat> define what the of what he's talking about. It's gonna. So I have I have trouble with it sometimes. You know, I know I know what they're talking about but to explain it to break it down the word. What it's talking about it's gonna it's kind of hard for me to you know, myself to break it down. Mm -hmm. There is a verb in here, walk uh, to scold or disparage someone for something. Mm, I hear you right. Do you think that might be what it is? Yeah, I will. Um, um, like I was saying, I wasn't sure, like, um, yeah, we'd have to just go sit with him again, because, well, we'll get the opportunity here, because uh, in their longhouse, they're going to have a memorial for his uh, son on March 19th. Uh, so I'll have that opportunity to go be around him, to go listen to him. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. Vaish, uh, would it be a cut, Sha? Cut, Sha. Vaish? What? I was just uh, listening to how you're saying that, and I was, is that, are we, is it, are we leaving out a sound on the type there? No, how about Kacha? Yeah, just, just in there listening how you're saying, saying that, saying that. Tunam awa Kacha, that would be, what are you, what are you throwing out? Yeah. That would be that. Tunam awa Uh-huh. Because uh, I'm asking him, are you still working? Good child. But cut nash. I never, never thought it'd be said that way. But here, the way he said it was, I got thrown out. <laughs> you know, like thrown out. You know, like here used to, used to, uh, you hear that word, a uh, cut, and, you know, sweep it up. Yeah. Or in that sense, and so when I heard heard it, but cut mash. Yeah. Um Mishkana Mab uh to use mat shash. How are you? What? How you been? What's What's going on? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Um, you've been uh, you've been going to the feast anywhere? I'm winning a man. Kaui yo. Yeah. Chao, chao, Ahwe. Chao, Ahwe. Eh. Yeah. To I, um, uh, I, I mean, winch, tubby. Mishiwa. Oh, 
Shini Venetia. Waktashwaluk. Waktashwaluk. Nishkimat the Kwai Venetia Wak Waktash Kalu. Does that have to do with the, uh, a feather or anything? I asked him that and he wasn't sure. That's what I was trying to figure out what it meant. So, Waktas, Waktas, Waluk is going up. Oh, yeah. Waktas, Waktas, Waluk, Waktas, Waluk, Kaluk or Waluk. Well, look. Oh, okay. Sounds like a, like a feather going up, something to that effect. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I'll, I now that I know his name, then I'll start referring to him that way when I see him. That's really Common one the shah, I shall be a shiman, a group of Mishpoa, when Nichi Tanantimki. I'm always asking, you know, different ones uh, if they have, you know, an Indian name. Mish Mishnamwa, when Nichi Tanantimki. So, or uh, Amisha Shinamanisha Tanantimki. What is your Indian name? Nakush Kai Naksha Shiapa Winch Nakui Wachachna. That one Shiapa man here. Nakui Iwanatash. I have an Indian name. Oh, Kamish. Nakui Wachachuni Nakuniki Haluin Hana, Nakuniki Sinwi Hana, Tamna Nakan Hana Kunti, and Nakui Wachawanichi. He'd get kind of half shot, and boy, he pretty soon he'd, he was with an Indian woman here, and she'd get annoyed with him. Ah, this one, he just, I know what he's going to say. And here he was all proud of himself having an Indian name, and he'd say, Yeah. When I lived in Lapway, I got an Indian name up there. They called my Indian name is Atmawas. <laughs> he didn't care. <laughs> he didn't care. <laughs> His Indian name is, uh, you know, Toilet. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, he didn't even care. He did, you know, and these women who get just annoyed with him. But, uh, yeah, he was a good friend, though. He was a good friend. Atwai <laughs> <laughs> Atwanwas. <laughs> By Shancha now, Iti Tamat Tachna, and a tun Iwatimani, Nakushna Wimia Mimi Timashpa, you know, so um, maybe like next week, uh, next Thursday, maybe we could go ahead and, uh, you know, read, do our reading. That like we did before, you know, read our what our elder had said about you know certain things. Um, you know, so continue to check our, keep our reading intact. So I'm having a time, you know, with uh, this morning when I was teaching my class. I wrote up there, and I asked my students in my first class to uh, to just translate. My name is, I am, you know, 14 or 15 years old. My mother is. 
and they were drawing blanks. Uh, I was having them to fill in the blanks, but they, they didn't remember Inish Wanisha. And so one of them finally did, but he started to write it down, but he wrote down Inish Winisha. So there's kind of a disconnect about hearing and writing and, uh, you know, to, so there's sometimes it's, it's a challenge to have to try to get that, get that, um, you know, I guess it's, there's going to be a time where it seems like it's going to have to just take uh, this uh, verbal teaching rather than trying to teach them about the writing. Uh, sim. You know, just to hear it, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about the writing, just now. No. So what's your uh, thought on that one there, Dewey? On um, writing? Writing or just language teaching. Yeah, I think it depends on the, the age of your students. Uh-huh. Up here, we don't do any writing for the younger ones. Yeah. Uh, eventually, you know, they hear it enough. And then when they see the writing, then it'll kind of just come naturally for them. But we do do writing for older ones because, you know, they question things anyway, you know, especially, you know, adults. Yeah. Um, some of them, they're just you know, don't have any knowledge or experience with language and it's, it's really hard on them. It's, they're just kind of stuck in that English mindset. And some of them, it's really kind of frustrating, but I just tell them, well, just write it, write down what I'm writing and just repeat after me The hearing it and speaking is more important than the writing part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shandine, uh, in your little bit of language learning that, that you've been, uh, since you've been a student of our, our language, how has it been for you to have learned a little what you know? Um, it really helps me to know the alphabet, like to see the alphabet and the sounds, because then like, like reading it, like with the hat checks, just practicing it and seeing it, it helps me. Cause I don't, um, I'm not, this is not my, I'm not, I'm just still learning. And I think it helps to see it written down for me. Cause I, and I, and it helps me to write it. So like I do both that helps me, but I, and also just listening, but um, I think, I think seeing the the words helps me like in this class and like writing it down helps me, but for little kids hearing it probably more, I agree. Yeah. Annie? Having it up on the screen like this is helpful for me. And then having you say it multiple times, like on the hard words, that's really helpful. And then I watch the recordings and review my notes. Oh, yeah, Commission. Yeah. Um, Alan, turn them Fisher, what you're thinking. I think uh, ultimately seeing the words written uh, is really helpful. Um, also, because you know, there's the dictionaries and they are written in a certain way. And um, so that's really helpful. Uh, also, you know, I think I'm a, I'm a person who there's like a connection between thinking and writing. But at the same time, I am, you know, just over the, the, the years here is so kind of frustrating how you know, it's so hard to spell things with the special uh, alphabet and uh, and just in using the, 
uh, the, the right keyboard. So that's one thought. And then the second thought is that, you know, um, what I find strangely helpful is, for example, the, you know, uh, the Ishishkin Sinwit Dictionary by Virginia Beavert and versus the Umatilla Dictionary, obviously there are differences, but I actually think that the differences are kind of helpful because they'll be spelled differently. And, and then it just makes my mind work and think like, is there a connection? you know, in terms of meaning in, instead of in terms of the English, you know, so obviously getting to that point where I don't have to think in the English is a long way off, but I think that that would be a good goal. Hmm. Yeah. How's your language learning been and Pros and cons. Um, it's been good when like we said when the younger kids, it's we mostly focused on just listening, and so they wouldn't have anything to worry to write about how our brain is accustomed to as adults write and read like the mainstream education system. So I've done, my younger kids, I'll do like flashcards and TPR and games. And then once we get to the older ages, middle school, high school, community class, it's a lot more reading and writing. But try to focus more on verbal and repetition. And... The writing system is good. I think I kind of, I learned the phonetics IPA up in the Spielum when I first started learning. And then when I went to Wanapum, it was kind of just picking up notes from previous elders and people that went in and documented like Click Relander. So I kind of m meshed the phonetics from up north to down here, how Tukumshish uses like the uh, hard X, how, how the signs look down here. And so I kind of use both of them, but I like how using like the hatch X, the wedge C, the wedge S, the lambda, like the barred L, like the barred I. I don't really use the schwa anymore. But I think it's real helpful just getting a key or a strong foundation with the phonetics with your learners to go from there because there's a lot more sounds, clear sounds in indigenous languages where English language is very broad, like an A could be a, n a number of sounds or the vowels could be a number of sounds. But it's been going good. I think it would be good too for us to practice reading. That's, okay. It's different when you see it written on the board here, but if we practice reading it, I think that'll help our pronunciation as well as, as our vocabulary and grammar. Hey. Sophia, my thoughts. Hey, Koshla. I like a lot. Tunam Kusha and my Nina Subsequisha. Well, um, you know, my experience with um, with it, it actually took me a while to, when I started working here, it took me a while to um, uh, adjust to the alphabet that was created. That was, uh, I've been, I was peeking in from time to time throughout the years with. The program, listening in and hearing some of the discussions on how <clears throat> the alphabet was going to be, and um, yeah, it took me a while to adjust to it to to, to get to actually teaching and writing it. 
<coughs> but then as I um, start, when I, when I got put into the, the, being a teacher, it was hard to, to teach it because a lot of our students were coming in from uh, middle school and you know, had, had English really dominant in their lives. And you know, when they'd seen the letters, a lot of the vowel, mainly the U, the U sound, and it always still stuck with the uh, you know, trying to try to um, adjust to that. Like oit, he'd see it, he like he saying like um, the um, like the days of the week, what oit for Saturday. And they'd say, what ait? And this is kind of weird. They'd get stuck with the U. Yeah. Uh, like cup. And, and so I had to adjust myself to that. And, I, and now being with the Sun Ridge Middle School, I'm, the young, little bit younger ones, <clears throat> I'm actually t I'm telling them that, that um, writing will come later. Understanding that we went through the alphabet, but as I went on, it's still, they're still having trouble. I said, well, just write it how it sounds to you. That way, when you read it back to me, you'll be singing it correctly. That way, you know, when, once they get higher and understanding more of the language and speaking it more, the spelling will come later. So just like English. You learn English learn this by speaking it first rather than reading it. Because my example was, you can, I'm pretty sure you didn't hand a post-it to your parents and say, no, well, there's your first word. Oh, well, look, she wrote her first word. Said, no, they're proud of you. You spoke your first word. So same with language. That the spelling will come later to learn to speak it and hear it. It's, with a, with, it's more important than uh, learn to write it and use the use the uh, letters for it later so it's good that we're actually in that we're in the um, um middle school right now that way they'll once they get to high school level either they come out here or they go to pendleton and hopefully we'll be in pendleton that we'll get more of the start getting to the more practice of writing with the alphabet that we do have Jonathan. Um, we've gone quite a ways around here, so let me think of some especially pertinent thoughts. Speaking, listening, and writing, reading are separate but related skills. You do need to work on each one to master them. The fantastic thing about, say, the Yakima Practical Alphabet and the Umatilla Practical Alphabet is that they both are phonetic alphabets, such that, you know, if you've mastered the basics of the alphabets and you've got sufficient skill in listening and recognizing the sounds, you can write any word. It's not like, say, English, where due to all these inconsistencies, you have to memorize the spelling of individual words. Um, doo, 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 doo. I agree with what Alan said about uh, you know writing being useful in that it provides access to learning resources, lots of other resources that one could use to learn a language, which are especially crucial today, since we're not all able to hear the language on a constant basis as people would have previously. Um, oh, shoot, I just had another thought relating to that. Oh, the other nice thing about uh, reading and writing is that it differs from speech in some crucial ways, namely, speech is very fast, it's ephemeral, once someone says something, you know, unless you've recorded it, you can't listen to it again. And in speech, there are no clean breaks between words. You know, the whole putting spaces between things is a writing convention that doesn't really exist in casual speech. So in some respects, you know, writing is set up to help you identify things like the individual words, the individual pieces that are important. And in that sense, writing can also facilitate language learning in a way that speaking and listening can't. Um, I think that's the bulk of things that I was thinking of sharing. I did also want to point out relating to this 
the writing error, that this is also something you would definitely see as a speech error. And I know last time we taught at BMCC, there was a lot of issues with getting these two words right. It has to do with them having, you know, not just similar written forms, but similar spoken forms. And that's just something that's going to take practice for the students to, you know, get these two straight. Nonetheless, it wouldn't be surprising, uh, say, for a fully fluent adult speaker to mix those up from time to time. Um, speech errors are really interesting. I pass that? turn. Yeah, I slap stuff in the cup of scenery. China cheese subsequent, yeah. So, again, uh, when we do reconvene, so we'll, I'll uh, talk over with Alan about what we can bring up to, you know, just to do some reading, whether for the other book or, or whether we'll have other. You know, uh, something else to read. So, uh, just wanted to. It's good to hear what each of you had, uh, you know, thought. And then, plus, it's been recorded, so I'll be able to review it myself and go back. And thank you guys all who brought some good points up. So, Anchamun, go maestro. Uh, what the Alicolat me subsequent answer? Now, he put them put to Nashi for my school. What the Alicolat me subsequent? So tomorrow will be Damien's class at 11. I was, I was in me to Tamasama. So just waiting for my students now. So I appreciate you guys logging in and stay safe, and uh, we'll see you again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.